Alright guys, our first and basic combo will be with the Fire King Court here, Ulkanix, Consort Ulkanix. We need her and we need another Fire Monster in hand to destroy, then we are going to Normal Summon her. This will be the best line that you have available in this deck. We will shoot the Kirin here, it doesn't matter that the Kirin normally has a bonus effect. To search the Ponyx, and because the monster that was originally Fire was destroyed, we can now summon the Ponyx from the end. We could also activate the Kirin here, but let's just not do it and let's pretend it was not a Kirin that we have destroyed here. Ponyx obviously can now go ahead and search. We have it already, but we can search it here. Fire King Sanctuary. Uh, you might know it that the Sanctuary is able to set the Fire King Field Spell. This is what we are going to do next. Set it directly from our deck. Now we can activate the Field Spell. Can destroy a monster either in hand or on the field to add a Fire King monster to the hand. This time around we are going to add the new Garunix, the Sacred Fire King Garunix. Now we can uh, activate uh, the Orkanix because she was destroyed. She can summon the old Garunix from our deck. And then we can also summon the new Garunix because a monster that was originally fire was destroyed, the Orkanix. So we are going to summon normal or special, doesn't matter for the next effect here. And then we are going for the old Garunix. The new Garunix can now, because it was normal or special, summon destroy either Winged Beast, Beast or Beast Warrior monster from deck, hand or field. So from everywhere basically, we are going to destroy our monster negate. The Avatar, Avatar, which can now resummon a winged beast, beast or warrior beast from our graveyard to the board, but it will be destroyed in the end phase and its effects are negated. Doesn't really matter because we will just go ahead and use all of these bodies here to go into other stuff so they won't even remain on the field. One very important thing that I saw a friend of mine do wrong, um, which I can understand because this is a 3-6 body, you never ever want to have this guy on the field on your end turn, right? This um, needs to be in the grave because otherwise the whole entire idea of this deck doesn't work. So put it in the grave so we can resummon it next turn and then it can destroy next turn the Kirin here which can then uh, destroy another card on the field and resummon one of your fire king monsters or also a fire king monster from the hand. We can now go ahead and make an IP Mascarina here because we will be able to get her to the field uh, with this combo uh, through uh, and not a direct way you could say but you will see in a moment we are next going to make um, uh, the Promethean Princess with these two bodies here and she can now revive the monster negate from our graveyard uh, the Kirin uh, the Avatar sorry and now we can and have to link away the Promethean Princess because we also want her engrave obviously and make the amphibious swarm shift and blow away. Let's see whether our opponents, this is by the way what you pass up on, we have the IP in the grave, the Promethean Princess in the grave, let's see whether our opponent activates a monster effect, so we can, um, okay, this, he destroys the, the envelope himself. This is also okay. I can show you what we wanted to do here. So if not your opponent destroys your envelope whale, the first thing that you want to do on your opponent's turn is use your avatar avatar, which is a monster negate that you need to destroy a fire monster in hand or field for in order to use this monster negate. This is what you want to do first. Never do the Promethean Princess first, because if you do the Promethean Princess first, you will be fire locked and not able to resummon your IP Mascarina or not able to use your IP Mascarina to go into a SP on Apollosa. The moment we use our avatar, our opponent basically does to destroy the Amblo Whale, which is definitely the target that you want to destroy for the negation effect of avatar avatar, you can now activate the Amblo Whale to resummon back a link 3 or lower from our grave. Choose the IP Mascarina here and then you can also at this point, you don't have to do it at this point, you can also save this interruption for later on because you will be able later on probably to trigger this once again with your Promethean Princess. Or if you have a Kirin in your hand, which is this guy here, if you have him in the hand then you can also at any point in the main phase quick effect destroy another fire monster and this will also trigger the Garunix, which means you don't need to use Garunix at this specific point here if you have any other way to destroy a fire monster or if a fire Fire monster gets destroyed by battle for example this will also trigger but let's say we want to trigger it now so i can show you what you want to in an optimal world destroy with this this comes back to the field and then it's basically the same as in the combo we did on our first turn because it was normal or special summon it can now destroy a beast warrior winged beast or um beast warrior winged beast or whatever beast from the deck uh, beast warrior winged beast uh, or beast monster so 
What you normally want to destroy here if you want to also destroy something on your opponent's field is the Fire King High Avatar Kirin. Destroy the Kirin, then Kirin and Grave can activate to uh, resummon uh, either a Fire King monster from your graveyard or your hand. And let's say we want to resummon the Ponyx to search some follow up here, and then we can also non targeting destroy a card on the field, which is very, very nice. And then obviously, Ponyx can grab us some follow up here for our next turn, for example, the Skyburn. And then you can obviously use your IP Mascarina next if you want to, let's say, he targets this and brings it back to the hand. I don't know, maybe he is able to play it again. But anyway, you can use your IP Mascarina here to make either an SP or an Appaloosa. You have enough bodies for an Appaloosa. You have already used your Avatar Negate, so you can get rid of him if you want to. can also make an SP. Keep in mind, though, if you would now make an Appaloosa for four materials, you don't have a fire monster on your field for the Promethean Princess. So uh, in an ideal world, you want to make an uh, Appaloosa with three materials here, and then you still have a fire monster that you can then use your Promethean Princess on. Let's hop right over to another combo that you can uh, make if you have your Fire King Ponyx available. Alrighty, the next combo I want to show you is a combo that contains Ponyx. Unfortunately, even though we have three Ponyxes in the deck, Ponyx Normal Summon isn't really a good combo. It doesn't get you into anything. But if you have in your hand also a Avata Avata or a High Avata Kirin, both will work, you can do the following. So in this case, we will use our Wanted together with the Diabelstar engine to get to our Ponyx here. But you can also just have the Ponyx Normal Summon in the hand. It doesn't really matter. For this example, I will access the Ponyx via this line. There's also the one for one in the deck. I will show you the deck list afterwards obviously and then um, yeah, we go set the OSS here but we don't have any snake eye cards in here other than that don't you worry but we will use this uh, to give ourselves access to um, the Ponyx basically and now we have the Ponyx you can also normalize some of the Ponyx as I already said so we go Ponyx here grab our Fire King Sanctuary mm, and then we are going to activate the Sanctuary which is going to set the field spell from the deck of course we need our Ponyx in the grave because the next thing that we want to do is destroy our Avatar and then Avatar can reborn the Ponyx, so we need to get him into the graveyard with the Lingo Rivo. Now we can activate the island to destroy um, from our hand the Avatar Avatar, which can then revive, which is nice. We obviously grab the Garunix. If you don't have the Garunix, you always want to grab it here because it will be able to be special summoned. We go Avatar to revive one, targeting the Ponyx, and then Garunix two to summon itself, obviously. We are missing access to the Orcanix in the combo before we have started with the Orcanix. Doesn't really matter because we can still use the Orcanix for our combo line here, resummon the Ponyx. Now we can once again use Garunix's effect to, in this case, destroy the Ulcanix because if Ulcanix gets destroyed, she can revive the, or revive is the wrong word, but she can summon the other Garunix from the deck. Now we basically have the same setup uh, as in the line before, and now we can just go ahead and make an IP Mascarina with both of these guys here and put it here. And then you can also make uh, the Promethean Princess, yes, so and we will put her here and now for a thing okay so in in this case I, I told you that we can start with a high avatar kirin in the hand or we can start with the avatar avatar we started with the Avatar Avata. In this case, you would just go ahead and revive Avatar Avata and then make with the Promethean Princess and the Ponyx DM the whale. This is the same ending as in the combo I showed you before. I will show you now what you will do if you have had a Kirin, because if you had a Kirin in the starting hand, you won't have Avata Avata in the grave, which means that it's a bit worse and you have to do it a bit differently. In this case here, we are going to revive the Promethean Princess. It will summon the Ulcanix. Ulcanix will then activate to destroy a fire monster. In this case, we destroy the Ponyx here, and then we can search another Fire King monster. So obviously in our case, because we have still our normal summon, we could go for Avatar here, and then you can do this if you have started with the Ponyx uh, from your wanted line or from your one for one line. But if you have normal summon the Ponyx and obviously doesn't work, then you will grab an High Avatar Kirin here. Um, so if you have destroyed Kirin, then you will grab a Kirin here, the other Kirin, the next one. And then you will go make an Amphibious Swamp Schliff Amber Whale, giving you now the ability to use your Kirin to destroy your Amber Whale and trigger all the other stuff. The unfortunate thing here is that uh, here in this combo line, you will not be able to access your Kirin or your Avata Avata because you don't have Avata in the grave. But these are the basic combos that you need to know to play the deck. And now we will hop on over to the deck list. All right, this or something like this is the deck list I would suggest to you go triple Ponyx here because in combination with other cards, as I just showed you, this is a nice combo starter here. Um, having a Ponyx is always nice. Um, it's very likely that you will open the Ponyx together with other stuff, so it will be effective. If you only have the Ponyx in hand, then it's a bit bad, unfortunately, but that's just how this deck is. It's the weakest of all the versions. The pure version is not bad, but it's also not an amazing deck. I have to say this. Then we have triple Maxi, triple Ash Blossom. We have triple Imperm. We have Called by Two 
cool. We have crossout one and two Nibiru's. You can obviously switch this up however you like. Then we have uh, two um, Viking Avatar Avatar. You could definitely make an argument for putting out the Spell Trap Negate or putting just another of these in here. So to play 41 cuts basically because having this as a normal summon can always be nice. Also having this in combination with your Ponyx is a nice two card combo. Then I like to have one of the Spell Trap Negate guys because in certain matchups it can be very strong. We obviously want to play Triple Olcanix because this is the best combo starter. In my opinion you also want to play the Diabelsta package consisting of three Diabelsta and OSS and obviously the Wanted. You can obviously use this to draw a card which is nice but you can also use this to get access to your Ponyx which if you get access to your Ponyx with the Diabelsta line then you will have your normal summon left and will most likely be able to play other cards like your Avata Avata or Rangbali and make the combo way way better because you have saved your normal summon. We obviously need one high Avatar Garunix for the Fire King Kotia Volcanix. Then we go for two second Fire King Garunix. If you want to, you could bump this up to three um, because having this in the opening hand means that you can search something else with your Fire King Island because then you obviously don't need to search the Garunix. Garunix can then uh, already summon from the hand if you destroy anything. Uh, you can also go ahead with uh, two here. You don't need three. We have three high Avatar Kirin. This is definitely uh, a no-brainer. You need three of this. In the Snake Eyes version, I'm only playing two, which is enough there, but here you want three. The Nibidos I already talked about. One for one is a card you definitely want, in my opinion, just to get more access to your Ponyx here than one uh, original Sinful Spoils. One Island and three Sanctuary. You could also go ahead and play two Sanctuaries, two Islands. Um, I like it more this way, honestly, but if your Island gets destroyed, then having another Island would be very nice. But I doubt that the games will be that long that it really matters and not a lot of people are playing hard counters to the Fire King Island. Then we have one Fire King Skype and you can also change this up if you wanted to for the other Fire King spell. Quick play spell, the Circle of the Fire King, which is, uh, is this the newer one or the older one? I think this is the the um, newer one actually i think this is the older one honestly which is the better one and this is the newer one um, i like uh, the sky burn uh, more because you can also if your opponent erupts you at some point uh, it's often the case that you will end up on maybe one or two fire king monsters and if you then can just set the sky burn this is very very strong interruption three imperms uh, to uh, garunix eternity i think one can also be enough you don't need no you don't do not need two then one linkery with that you definitely want a nightmare phoenix i would i would recommend because sometimes you just want to be able to clear stuff from the field without locking yourself out with the sp of being able to attack directly because um, you have your kill combo still available. Um, uh, by the way, I'm uh, a bit confused here. Obviously, you also want the Raging Phoenix in here for the full uh, kill package. Might put out one of the XYZ guys for that. Uh, we have first uh, Sunlight Wolf that you can use to add back stuff to your hand. For example, also an Ash, which is quite nice. Hita makes sense. A lot of people are playing Fire Dex right now. We have the IP. You have seen what we do with this. Obviously, SP. And then I also like Nam Unicorn. Same uh, reasoning as with the Nightmare Phoenix here to have something to get rid of stuff from the opponent's board without locking you out from your kill combo with the Espen Little Knight. Obviously a Promethean Princess, if you want to bump this up to two, you can also do this. The Amphibious Swamp Ship Emberwell, one Appaloosa, one Access Code Talker, then the Zealantish Kill Package, and then the Underworld Goddess of the Close Worlds. You can definitely go ahead and put in two Promethean Princesses and put out the Underworld Goddess. This would also work. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Are you playing Fire King? Which version are you playing? Are you happy with the deck? If you like my content, please consider subscribing hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell and we will see each other in the next one.